character in the string, okay? How would I do that? I want the H, I want the L, I want an O, I want the W, I want the R, I want the D, and nothing else, obviously, because that's the end. Uh, so how would I do that? Well, I can use what's called steps. I'm just going to, um, well, just so it doesn't look so confusing, I'll do 0 to 12, and then you can put another colon there, and then this is the step. So normally you step every one. So if you're in if you're at index zero, then you step one onto index one, so you get the e. Then one onto index l. So to skip one, you just step two. Okay, so that's what you can input there. So you're on the h, then you go one two, get the l one two, get the o one two, get the w, r and d, and that's it. Okay, let's see that. And as expected, that's what happens. Um, now, I could have easily written that statement with, uh, like that, okay? Because that would be the beginning, Python expects the beginning because you didn't put in a number, the end because you didn't put in a number, and just step two, okay? I just did it like this so it looked less confusing the first time you saw it happen, okay? And there we go, exactly the same thing. Okay, um, next thing we're going to look at is multiplying, well sorry not multiplying yet, let's next after, but we're going to look at adding sequences, okay? So, um, we've already seen something a lot like this. Actually we're not going to look at adding sequences right now, I've just decided. We're going to go straight on to multiplying sequences. Um, well, the reason we can't do adding sequences is because we've already seen adding strings, which are sequences, and the other sequence we haven't quite covered yet, so I don't want to talk about it. But I will talk about it when we cover it. Okay. Uh, multiplication, though, we can cover because we haven't seen multiplication with strings, which are a sequence, of course. So if you type something like this, hello world, and then type times 10, you get hello world 10 times. Okay. Uh, so you could have, uh, well, there's another example, it's pretty simple. So, um, I think I'll just leave it like that for now, actually, guys. Uh, next tutorial we will look at, uh, lists, okay? And we'll cover addition and multiplication and slicing and indexing with lists, uh, next tutorial. Anyways, guys, over and out.